Hi there, Pro Spartan Gamer with my SP Spartans PES 2013 series. Still getting my breath back here after that fantastic first leg against Inter Milan. I don't know if you watched it yet, but you all too fantastic game. In this episode, it's Premiership highlights and it's three matches. It's the games against West Ham, QPR and Southampton. Hopefully three wins to put us nearer to winning the Premier League. Just wanted to show us, show you where we are of our goal scoring records this year so far. Stimmage and Eccleston both have 17. As you can see, Stimmage from only 27 games. Isco doing fantastically well as well in his first season, 15 from 27. And Griezmann also 12. Destro 11. Lukaku 14. So there's not a lot between those two. Um, 12 assists and 12 goals for Griezmann. Another good season for him. Wellington Nelms had one from his two games. Heading said one from 13. Fellaini won from 14. Bartley's popped up with three and three assists in his 22. Willie Santan has only been available for nine games because he's been constantly on a blue and he's got three from nine. Kostic, three from 28 and three assists. Been slightly disappointing to be honest. Pantelik only one and one assist from nine. Iniesta, one assist and only three games. Ishman Mirat one assist from three. Nenny, one assist from two. Kak has played one game. Van Bommel, two assists from his three games. One for Agostini. Van Mostevelt, six games. Samal's played a game. Capino, 11. Pienaar obviously didn't play any. And don't forget, we've got three out on loan. Distan, Droba and Yakim. So, that's what we've got. Right, let's crash on into this big premiership game. Let's just remind you guys the table and how we're sitting. There we are, 13 points clear. After 25 games, no, 26 games, we've got 12 games left to hopefully hold on to that lead. The last three games are against the top three, so we want it done and dusted, really, by the time we come to play that. Otherwise, it's going to make it tight. Here we go then. Let's crash on into this. Hopefully we've got a decent game. Decent side out. Oh, Stimic here come back in for Wellington. Um, that's no problem. Fellaini's on a down, so it's going to have to be Bartley in there. East Coast still struggling a bit, so Headinstead's going to get a start in there. Griezmann, we're going to rest for Kostic as well. What about out on this right? Eccleston showing signs of Fatigue. Iniesta would be a risk, wouldn't he, over there? Only 69. Who else have we got? Simao. Give Simao a, a run out over there. 74. Who else is struggling? Yang and B at the back. Augustini can come in for Dara there. That's not a problem. And centre back. Ishman Mirat. Going to take a chance with Mostervelt against West Ham. Might be taking too many chances here. But I think we can put out some of these youngsters in this game. And yes, to get on the bench. Kaka, no. Fellini. Van Bommel wasn't available, was he? No. Nini. Nenny. Do we want to leave Griezmann on the bench? Yeah, we'll leave Griezmann on, and Eccleston on the bench. And it's going in case things go pear shaped. And we're going to give a start to Lukaku up front, not Destro. So there we go, and that's what we're going in with. Good out of that. Lukaku's in. Brilliant from Lukaku, that. Dimitch. Oh, two one on ones we've missed from deflection and state. Really, Lukaku took it a touch too many there. Could have hit it earlier and then Stimmage, defensive block, stopping an open goal. Two great chances in two minutes. Costage might have a go from here if he gets it back right from Stimmage. He will. Costage! Oh, he's so good at those low drives. Want him on those corners like that because he's so good at them. I don't know why you show the replay of that. And Stimmich will be looking for the low drive from this side. It could be on. 
Dimic. There it is. Oh, what a finish! Right across. Absolute buried hit. Stimic is back. He wants to keep his golden boot from last year. And with goals like that, he's going to. First time he's ever scored like that. From low drive across like that from a corner. Never really tried it with him. And he ever tried it with Griezmann and Kostic. Look at that. Impossible angle through a crowd. What a finish. Through someone's legs. And it was in the side netting before the keeper blinked. Brilliant from Steamage. Absolute brilliant. 1-0. Memorable goal that. Been a hard first 30 minutes here as well. 25 minutes. Or oh, one up. Brilliant BDJ. Steamage. Oh, oh, that is taking the mickey. The great Stimmage takes the piss out of West Ham there. Sorry, but he does. Jumps one tackle and toe pokes it in with his left. Absolute fantastic. He is my favourite all-time Pez player, no doubt. Want to bottle him up and have him next year and the year after and the year after. Look at that. That is great play. Beat a man and just as he stumbles, a flick with the left. Two great goals from Stimmage today. Totally different goals. But that is class. Just his feet and pokes it past the helpless goalie. 2 0 spot and it's coming up to half time. Absolute dreamland from Stimmage. Bottle him up. I want him on every year's Pez, please. He is great. A few seconds before half time. This has been comprehensive since the first 10 minutes when they had a couple good chances. We've absolutely bossed it since. And this man is absolutely running the show. He goes again. He's absolutely running this show. He's scythed down again from West Ham. They just can't handle him. He's having the half of his life. I think that's three of their back four that's been guarded. Stimmage jumping tackles left, right, and centre. Gets for another one and then bought down. He is absolutely tearing West Ham apart. They don't know what to do with him, to be honest. They haven't got a clue, and it's going to be knocked into him here. He'll have it again. They just don't know how to handle Stimmage. Gives it away this time. Rare occasion. And there's the half time whistle. The last half an hour has been the Stimmage show. We'll tune in for more after the break. Stimmage. 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 Hat trick Stimmage. I've got a feeling he was always going to score a hat trick today because he's just been so, so good. What a great strike. Three totally different goals today. We had the, the run and the prod for the second. We had that driven one from the corner. Low drive. And then we've had one rifle into the top corner from the corner of the box. Look at that. Great hat trick from Steamage. That brings him to 20 for the season, I think. He's got to be fit for the away game against Inter Milan. Just got to got to be fit and ready because he is a key the way he's played tonight is absolutely fantastic captain absolute fantastic player good head out Bartley good head out Phoenix Billy Santana got beat there off the post oh and they scored a fluffy I know it's an own goal. Well, one of them's claiming it. We let the shot away too easy, to be fair. And then we let him walk in here too easy. That was a problem. There. And there. And then the shot. And, well, a right mess on the back stick. Don't know who actually come off in the end, to be honest. Fair player slid in. I think he probably got the final touch. Will come. It does very well. Lukaku's in from the keeper's clearance. Lukaku, Kostic, there it is from the keeper's clearance. Kostic gets a tap in, 4-1. Lukaku should have scored, he should have had a couple in this game to be fair. Kostic gets one, he deserves that. 
Boss looks contented. Well done. Another win in the Prem. 13 point lead will be intact. It's taken it too far a couple of times with Kaku, but it fell nicely. And Kostic into the open goal, all from the Norman clearance. Norman might have had an assist if Lukaku would put that in. Kaka doing well. Kostic. Lukaku again. Can he make it third time lucky on the one on ones? Yes, he can. He buries that one emphatically. Third time lucky. Lukaku's got his goal today. He's had the start over Destro and he's got the goal. Good setup from Kostic. And this is coming easy now. To be honest, our side is getting that good. Unless it's a top team against us, we are finding it quite easy. We've reached that point on Pez. Now, where we can score goals for fun against the weaker sides. Great finish, Lukaku. There. Kostic will be looking for the shot here, I expect. There he gets it. Kostic! Oh my word! What an angle! What a strike from Kostic! That was on the rise when it hit the net. I don't know how it went in. We're going to have to get an angle on that one. What an absolute bullet. Didn't expect him to score. Didn't think I'd come out wide enough. What an absolute bullet from Kostic. He was nowhere. He was mo He was. <laughs> what a shot. That's the angle we want. Oh, near post. Keeper should have done better, but what a finish. There's too much beans and sprites on it there. Kostic with an absolute screecher. Seen some goals in this game. A couple decent ones from Stimmage. Good run from Stimmage. And then an absolute screecher there from Kostic. What an emphatic win. We saw some great goals in that game. Fantastic stuff. Spartans in one of those rich veins of forms, especially Stimmage. 21 shots on target. 14 on um, 14 on target, 21 in total. Absolute pulverised them, really. And they started the game quite well. Kostic gets man of the match. I don't know how. Stimmage had a hat trick. 7.5. Head instead, 5.5. But unlucky that. Most of that, I'd have given a 5, I think. Where does that leave us in the table? We know we're still going to be top. That's for sure. 6-1. Demolition. Manchester United won. Everton continued their rise at the table, hopefully. Man City beat Chelsea, so there might be some changes at the top. Still 13 points. What's it looking like for Everton down the bottom? They are now in 17th. They are climbing out of the mire, and they might just survive. Hopefully they do, even though they've got a crap side. Quite a few of the sides are poor now, actually, in there. In this league, seven years in. Anyway, look out. Highlights next will be the QPR game, and the way we're flying, and where are QPR on the table? They are 10th. And then we've got Southampton who are in the bottom three. There could be a lot more goals in these in the rest of this highlight package. So look out for it, dudes. Here we go then. Hopefully more goals for the yellow and red Spartan army in, in this game. Bartley's giving it away and Bobby Zamora is in. And 1-0, and they deserve that in the last 10 minutes. Awful slide tackle in the middle. Went too early and missed the ball. QPR in, and now 1-0 up through Bobby Zamora. Bartley. Better. BDJ. Stimic. Isco. Overlap. Griezmann. Equaliser. Knew it. Griezmann done miss from there. Not with his left foot. Not this season anyway. He's so good. Didn't take longer equalise. The QPR fans are still cheering the goal and now they silenced them. Great move. BDJ involved there. Wellington Nem. Steemich. Ishko. Overload. One touch, two touch. Goal. Griezmann. Trouble. Six goals we scored in the last episode. I'm not like coming in this one, that's for sure. Isco, oh, Wellington Nem, yes, Barry, shame it didn't go in first of all, because it would have been a lovely goal, but that's a good finish from Wellington Nem, he's not had a bad game over there, second goal for the club, Eccleston hasn't really worked up front, 
layoff and hold up play has not been that good. We haven't been able to get him in behind as much as we were hoping for. That was some nice play there though. He did let off well that time. Isco hit it first time. Would have been a lovely goal on its own. Isco there again. Hadara. Isco. Pick up these pieces. And drive forward. Isco. Oh, what a goal from Isco. Run through the defence at will. Brilliant. Jump two tackles. Squeeze through two more. Two come on and then. Squeeze through there somehow or another. Jump that tackle. Forge through that tackle. Through that tackle. And then buried it. They're fighting to touch him once he got in the box. A great poor control and body balance from Isco's made it 3-1. What a good player he is this season. What a good signing he's been. Willy Santana has not had a great season on four arrows, but Isco's come in and done equally as well as Willie did. And though we take it 3-1 away, any win's a good win in the league at the moment. We continue our quest for glory. He's hoping for a few more goals. 11 shots, 6 on target. QPR were tougher than we thought, to be fair. Isco, man of the match. Wellington then, I thought, must have pushed him a close second, really, but he did not according to that. Isco was miles ahead. Stimmage, 5.5. You want that poor, surely. Stimmage is never that bad. Anyway, that's what they've given. Let's have a look at the table before we crash on into the Southampton highlights. Man City have won. Man United have beaten Chelsea. Everton's got a 2-2. And Tottenham have won. Where does that leave the table then? Still 13 points clear and looking home and hose, really. We can hold on to ourselves. Everton squeezing away from the drop zone, hopefully. So I'll be straight back with the game against Southampton. Don't go away. Hopefully another win. The image will come short. You've scored from here earlier in this Saturday. Give him spaces, score again. Too many in there this time. Isco though. Oh, too much juice on that. Thought that was going to be a net bulger. First real chance of the game. Or well, close in chance anyway. They both fall into Isco, the two chances. And that was a good one. Good header. Ishman Mirren. Eccleston. Destro. Go on, Destro. Dimage! Oh, what a strike! Squeezed in. First time hit on the back hill from Destro. Too much hot stuff on it for the keeper to hold it out. Not quite sure whether the keeper should have saved or whether it was passed in before he got a touch. What a strike from Dimage. Right when we needed it before the interval. Eccleston, good ball. Destro, first time layoff. Dimage, first time hit. I think it was past the keeper before he had a chance. Yeah, it was. It was past the keeper. Frailing arms. Just about enough for the keeper to get his hands on it. Here it comes. Just about enough on it. See it from this angle. As it comes in. It was past the keeper before he had a chance to put his hands on it. Great strike, Steamage. Would have looked better if the keeper hadn't touched it. But 1-0 just before the break in. We needed that. BDJ again. Into the feet of Eccleston. Steamage. BDJ. Brilliant from Spartans. Lukaku. Oh. We get it though. He will get this. Headinstead's unmarked. Headinstead, lovely goal, little bender from Headinstead, off the bench and scores, he'd be delighted with that, he's not had a lot of opportunities this year, great move from the Spartans, unlucky Lukaku didn't get on the end of it, and that's a well deserved second here, and a lovely finish from Headinstead, Panty lit looking for the header, Lukaku done well, Loads of time and a nice bender finish before we got clolloped by someone. Absolutely clolloped by number 20. He's coming short again. Doesn't seem like anybody's coming from anywhere. 
There he is. Heading to the game with acres of space. Oh, that's cute from Eddingstead. Awful defending from Southampton. No one came and then he just bent it. Two goals for Eddingstead. Lovely finish that. Lovely bender along the deck that time. That was cute. Really nice finish that. Acres of room. No one come. No, you just look at the bend on that. Lovely bend into the far corner. That's in, that is class finishing from Headinstead. Lovely bend. Beautiful from Headinstead. Nestles in the just inside the side net in. 3 0. Game set and match. That's one of the five wins we need. Four now. Hey, the last nine will give us the crown, I'm sure of it. The way we're playing, I can't see us losing five. I really can't. I think we've won this Premier League. Taking us a few years to get there, but got a hell of a team now. Three highlight packages in the Premiership, like we expected to be fair. Head instead on a hat trick then. Can he get one just before the end of this game? One two with Eccleston. Cutting inside. Headinstead showing desire for this hat trick. Oh, wouldn't break for him. Unlucky Headinstead. And there's the end of the game. Two great goals from Headinstead. Two benders. Lovely goals and a great hit from Stimmage in the first half. We go into the Inter Milan game full of confidence. They pumped and didn't manage a shot on target. Headinstead gets man of the match. I wouldn't disagree. Fantastic second half display from him. That's it then. I hope you've enjoyed that highlights package there by the Pro Spartan Gamer. Let's just show you the league table as it stands and the results. And he wins. Everton managing 0-0 at home to Millwall. They won't be happy with that, I shouldn't think. Man United lose to Man City. I think they were the ones behind us, weren't they? And Chelsea win again. What's that mean on the table? We are 15 points clear now with nine games left. There's only 27 points to play for, so four more wins would definitely give us this league because our goal difference is so good. We've only lost that one game to Chelsea, otherwise it would be the perfect season in the Premier League. We're going to get 100 goals as well, which is fantastic. We've only conceded 19. Been rock solid at the back this year. It's all going well. Everton are still 17th, but still in relegation problems. Anyway, that's the end of the highlight package. Don't forget... I'm playing it next, so the live match will be recorded and ready for you after you finish this one. The Inter Milan second leg. We're taking a 3-2 lead into that. Don't forget that. I've been the Pro Starting Gamer. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for liking. God bless to you all. And chill, dudes. <laughs>